What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Before we even get started into the video, I just want to say we did it. We hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Shout out to each and every single one of you guys for helping me and supporting me all throughout this journey. Even if you recently subscribed or you haven't subscribed yet, I still appreciate you guys for watching my videos, which is why today I'm going to be doing the most requested video I've ever gotten on my YouTube channel, which is how to do hidden hardware on a wide body kit. So in case you guys don't know, the car that started this channel was this car right here. Here's the picture of it when it was done and everything. As you can see, it was wide body. A lot of people thought that the kit was molded on. It wasn't. It was actually hidden hardware so I could take the kit on and off. So today we're gonna be installing hidden hardware on the new various wide body kit on my FRS. So without any further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys what you're gonna need in order to do hidden hardware on any wide body kits. All right, boys, everything is laid out. Now the first thing you're gonna need is some hardware, given the name, hidden hardware. So I bought a bunch of different bolts right here, a bunch of different sizes, just so I can decide what size is the best. And you're gonna need some washers, and of course, nuts for the bolts. Next thing you're gonna need in order to make the bolts hidden is this thing. So what I have right here is called panel bond. What this is essentially, it's like liquid metal almost. It's super strong. Now this is what's gonna bond the bolts to the wide body kit. So this is definitely needed. I'll leave a link in the description below in case you guys wanna check it out. And then, of course, since you have this, you can't just use that only. You're going to need a gun, specifically a 3M applicator gun in order to use it. I rented this one from my local body shop supply stores and that's also where I bought this 3M panel bond. Now the next thing we're gonna need is Guide coat spray. This is gonna make sure that all of our body work is gonna be smooth and flat so people don't see where the hardware is so it'll be perfect and seamless. Now, you're gonna need a sanding block. Any size is good. I specifically like the small size because it fits in your hand better. And I like the hard blocks. Don't get the soft blocks because that won't get your panels straight. Get a hard block. And then, we're gonna need some spreaders right here. So I bought this spreader which is more flexible all the curves and edges in case I have any. And then this spreader is stiffer for the body panels that are super straight, just to make it easier on you when you sand. Fortunately for this Varus kit, the thing that I'm gonna have the most difficult time with is the side skirts right here. Bolts are mounted right there. And so when I open the door, I can't really access the back of that through here because look how thick all this stuff is. I'm gonna have to drill really big holes through the side, reach in with the socket, and tighten down all the nuts and bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that in case you have the same problem with the wide body kit that you wanna install. And the way we're gonna drill those holes is with this tool right here. So this is a Milwaukee hole saw. This allows you to drill really big holes without using like a fat drill bit. This is more like a cutting disc, but it cuts perfect circles, which is amazing. Let's go ahead and start by drilling out these holes. All right guys, I went ahead and drilled out the holes for the rocker panel just to make sure it works before I show you guys how to do it, and it freaking works. Let me go ahead and explain this to you guys. So, like I said before, you can't really reach the back of this to put on a nut. I took the hole saw, which is right here, and we drilled out those big holes right there and right there, so now I could stick an extension with the socket on it and come all the way back here and tighten it up. Now that I know how to do it, let me go ahead and show you guys how to do it on the other side. Okay, first of all, ignore the mess that's in the car right now. So please don't slam me in the comments for that. I know the car's messy, okay? First thing you wanna do is you wanna take off this piece right here so you can access the back of this. And then this is held on by staples, which is right here. You can either just pull it off or pull off the staples. I could care less, so I'm just gonna yank it off just like that and now we can reach the back of this but we are not drilling through this piece so we got to take off this trim off right there and then this piece which just pops out like that and now we have access to the metal part that we're going to drill through now that we have access to the back of the rocker panel we're going to go ahead and take off the side skirt which is held on by whatever you desire i use self tapper so 
comes off pretty freaking easy. We got the side skirt off. Now it's time to start drilling. Now if you guys look at the end of the hole saw, which is right there, you're gonna see a little drill bit because in order to cut the hole out, you're gonna need like a little pilot hole. So in order to get the hole saw to cut through straight, we're gonna have to drill right through every single layer of metal. There's about three to four layers. We're gonna go ahead, get a long drill bit like this and just drill right through. Make sure to be careful though because there is some wiring on the inside. You don't wanna drill through any wire. After struggling hello, we finally got the holes all drilled out. Now we can take the hole saw and start cutting the big ass hole in. The hole saw is just like a normal drill bit. You just put it in the drill and just lock it in and now it's ready. All right, boys, just like that, we got holes cut out through all the layers, and so now we finally have access to mount the hidden hardware on the side skirts. All right, boys, we're getting ready to start installing the hidden hardware on this wide body piece right here. I got my little brother, Nick, to help me out. Check it out. Aw, uh, this man got a cast. Nick, what happened? I went uh, on a monkey bar uh, after school, and then I slipped and broke my wrist. Aw, oh, poor baby. But I'm left-handed. Yep, so you're good, because you still got your good arm. So if Nick can help me do hidden hardware, then every single one of you guys should not have an excuse to not be able to do this. Because keep in mind, man is seven and is handicapped, so I'm just saying. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a hardware. What I'm using is I'm using this right here. It's a four millimeter Phillips head, and it's pretty flat. That's why I picked this out. Check it out. The bear's kit isn't very thick, so when you put this in, I think the body filler should be able to hide the bolt perfectly, which is why I went with a flatter bolt, but you can use whatever fits your kit because I know not every kit is the same in thickness, so choose your hardware wisely. Now that we got our hardware all picked out, next thing you wanna do is find a drill bit, like almost the same exact size, and we're gonna use it to drill the holes into the wide body kit so then the hardware can fit right in. All right, holes are all drilled out. Now it's time to start the process on how to bond the hardware to the kit. We're essentially going to make the hardware one piece with this kit. And we're gonna do that by using the panel bond, which is this thing. So this is gonna bond the hardware completely to the wide body kit. But in order for that to happen, we need to scratch up both this and the fiberglass so that the panel bond has something to grip onto. So you gotta find the roughest and most grittiest sandpaper you can find. And for me, I think I got 50 grit. I'm gonna go ahead and scratch up the hardware and the wide body. How in the world do you even scratch that thing? Nick, you see it? Sandpaper, and you just scratch like that. We scratched up all of these bolts, so now we're ready to scuff up the fiberglass and all the grooves so that we can start bonding all of these bolts in. Let's go ahead and start putting in the hardware and mounting the kit to the car. Bolts are in, now we're gonna go ahead and attach the nut on the back side. So how are you gonna do that? is you're gonna wanna take out your interior panels. As you guys can see, I already did that. Now you're gonna have access to the back and you'll see the studs right there, right there and all around. Take your nut and screw it on. All right guys, the nuts are all bolted in. You wanna leave a little bit of space so you can still move the bolt around like that. So now when we apply the panel bond, we can put it on the back side of the bolt too. Nick, are you ready to help me? You're gonna be the one that puts on the panel bond, all right? Okay. You know how you're gonna do that? Uh, is it the gun again? Yes, sir, this gun thing right here. You just take off the cap right here, like that. Right. Twist this on, 
and then you just put the cap back on it like that okay Nick you ready so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put it around the hole okay around yeah this yeah around. should I do an example so you can see uh, yeah. so you just want to put it like that cover up the hole okay you think you could do that yeah I think I could do it more better challenge accepted no. Right, guys it is now two days later and the panel bond is completely cured and rock solid as you guys can see listen to that that's freaking rock solid that's not going anywhere so that means that now we can finally start sanding the kit and making the whole kit seamless we're gonna basically sand this completely flat and smooth so we can go ahead and apply body filler on in a bit and to sand that we're going to be using a sanding block and we're going to start out with 80 grit sandpaper so let's go ahead start sanding All right guys, I went ahead and took off the wide body panel off of the car so it's easier to sand. And I finished sanding down the panel bond. Check it out. We got it pretty smooth. We, we see that metal thing right there. That is the bolt that we installed in it. And it's obviously a high spot. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and lay body filler over this to basically lift the panel up higher so that the hardware doesn't show as much. Once we have enough body filler laid down and we start sanding, we will no longer see all the silver hardware showing through. So let's go ahead, mix up our body filler and slap it on. I'm gonna be using this Eurofill Gold body filler right here and this hardener. Okay, Nick, you ready to help me whip it up? Yeah. I didn't know that you in this. You remember how to do it? Yes. So you put one line across. Yeah. And a little more because you missed the front. Perfect. All right, put the cap on and I'll start mixing. Body filler is all laid. Now our job is basically to sand this all flat so that this entire area is all seamless and super straight. So we're gonna use a bigger block this time just to make sure the panel is nice and flat. All right, here we go, let's start sanding. and wrapped up the bodywork on the panel. Boom, look at that. Super clean, everything is seamless. But the one thing that we have to do left, this material that we added on has like a little sharp edge to it and the rest of the kit is pretty sleek. 
so the edges are rounded out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bevel in these edges by using some sandpaper. We're gonna take our sandpaper with the block, round out all the edges so that it looks like factory. You just wanna do like these half circle motions like this. So you get a nice even arc. And I'm using 180 grit right now. You don't want it to be too aggressive or else you might shave through too much and you'll have to add on material. So just use 180 and just finesse it like that. So the hidden hardware on this kit is officially done and we're ready to pretty much do the final sanding before primer and same goes for this quarter panel piece and the side skirts. So I thought that I was done with all the panels and we're basically ready to spray primer but then I realized I still have the rear bumper pieces. We got some panel bond already laid on this piece so we gotta sand it down, do some body work to make that seamless as well as this side. Ah, oh, I've been doing this for a few days now and this is just terrible, I hate body work but you guys to see it through my boys. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock these out real quick and then I'll show you guys how to do the final sanding before spraying primer. Just like that, we got the extension pieces all finished, look at that, boom. Hidden hardware, baby. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the final sanding on all these pieces. And I guess we'll start with this fender I have chilling right here. We basically need to sand this and get it ready for primer. And in order to do so, we gotta make sure that the entire part, everything on it is scuffed up and ready to go. And we're gonna do that with 320 grit on a DA. That's what I found to be the easiest thing to do, but to make sure that you sand everything completely, since you don't really see what you're sanding, because it's kind of white. We're gonna use this right here, the guide coat spray. When you spray this, you don't wanna spray it too heavy because then it's gonna be like practically paint and it's gonna be super hard to sand off. You just wanna mist it on and spray it everywhere. Now when you sand, you'll know which areas you haven't touched yet because then the area would still be black so let's go ahead and get right to sanding. Alright guys, all the parts are officially prepped and ready to go. I already went down and wiped it all with some alcohol and some wax and grease remover. So it's time to mix up our primer and go ahead and spray our primer. boys we are officially done with the hidden hardware on this various kit i got everything primered up i sprayed four coats of primer so when we prep this thing for paint we have plenty of material to block sand and make sure the panel is nice and flat without any further ado let me show you guys the completed hidden hardware on the various kit Super flat and seamless. We had to put on so many layers of body filler, but it ended up looking amazing. So if I can do it in my garage, you guys definitely can do it too. So if you're thinking about installing a wide body kit, I'm telling you this right now, 
Go Hidden Hardware, you will thank yourself. It looks 10 times better than exposed hardware. You know what, I'm gonna glass some of these panels onto the FRS so you guys can see the true power of Hidden Hardware. Let's do it. Look at how easy it is to slap this on, watch this. Check this out, let me slap on the side skirt too. Boom! Super freaking easy. Now all you would have to do left is go inside, grab the nut, and tighten it down, and then the wide body kit will be completely mounted to the car, and it doesn't even look like it. Very, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video right here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know down in the comments what your guys' opinion is on hidden hardware. Do you like it or do you prefer the look of exposed hardware? I wanna know. Don't forget to smash the like button and hit subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.